This tank farm has a capacity of 800,000 barrels of oil. New visitors come to Barrow every week, but now let's meet a direct descendant of one of the original settlers on the island. His name is Charlie, and he's known as a Bangara. The Horseshoe Mine is just over 500 miles north of Perth, near Peak Hill, and the headwaters of the Murchison River, where Bell Brothers mine a lower grade manganese ore than that up north, but still a valuable export to the Far East. 50,000 tonnes of ferruginous ore is taken from this mine annually. front-end loaders disgorge the black manganese ore into the waiting road trains and it is then transported to the railhead at Mikathara, 86 miles south. Here it is loaded onto the waiting trains for transport to Geraldton. Geraldton, 250 miles north of Perth and Western Australia's fourth city, is the site of one of the state's busiest ports. Here the company is loading the biggest consignment of manganese ore ever to be loaded onto a Japanese ship in the port. A hundred and ten miles south of the capital, the rapidly developing southern city and port of Bunbury is the headquarters of Bell Brothers' southwestern operation. On the busy waterfront, the heavy duty vehicles whitened from the dust of thousands of tons of phosphate rock are a familiar sight. Much of Bell Brothers operation is centered in Perth itself. The rapidly expanding capital with a population of half a million is busy with the ever-growing activity of commerce and industry. Fremantle is one of the best-known ports in the world, and with the advent of container ships and the development of the standard Trans-Australia rail gauge, it is rapidly growing into one of the world's busiest ports. And where the action is big and the tasks massive, there you'll find the giant trucks in the familiar colours of red and white, carrying phosphate rock to Cumming Smith BP at Quinana at North Fremantle, or to the Cresco works at Bassendine. And every now and then, a task bigger than normal, like the transport of this 55-tonne rubber tyred loader from Coburn Cement to Belmont through busy suburban streets. To streamline their local transport activities, Bells have amalgamated with the old established firm of Eldersmith Goldsborough Mort Limited in Perth to form the company known as Elder Bell Brothers. Their fleet of 23 trucks is equipped to specialise in lighter transport. 
from transport to civil engineering in the urban scene. This is the site of the huge marshalling yards for the standard gauge railway project at Kewdale. This contract is worth $2 million to the company and involves the movement of one and a quarter million yards of earth and nearly half a million yards of limestone and gravel. From Kewdale to work at clay pits at Caversham and Kalamunda. Here clay is excavated and transported for HL Brisbane and Wonderlic, the manufacturers of Bristyle roofing tiles, a task which Bell Brothers has been carrying out for 50 years. At the new nickel refinery at the industrial centre of Kwinana and the new housing settlement at Bungaree, the story is the same. Bell Brothers is on the job. One of the company's most successful subsidiaries is their Michelin tyre retreading factory at Guildford. Here Bell Brothers had the facilities to completely recondition all types of Michelin tyres, from the smallest to the largest. So much for machines and plant, but what of the men who control this statewide operation? The modern headquarters are in Great Eastern Highway, eight miles from the centre of Perth, and here the chairman of directors, Mr David Bell, is in constant touch personally with the other top executives. When a decision is made, the information is passed swiftly and efficiently by radio telephone to an outpost perhaps a thousand miles away. Roger, Jim. We also require a permit for truck 259. In a state which occupies a third of the continent, distance must be annihilated. And no other part of Australia relies so much on the use of light aircraft to transport men and materials from one corner of the land to the other than does the West. In keeping with the general pattern, Bell Brothers run their own fleet of planes, dropping down at isolated strips to deliver their own requirements and the requirements of other companies who use the services of another Bell subsidiary, Bell Brothers Air Charter. Meanwhile, in the marshalling yard at Guildford headquarters, the work goes on. The activity is endless, unceasing. Here is one company where top executives and manual operators work hand in hand, pooling their knowledge, combining their skill. As the development of West Australia continues and distant centres grow in importance, so too will develop and grow the contribution to all this by the company known as Bell Brothers at Guildford. <laughs> 